as um, Gloria said, my name is Kofi, K-O-F-I, Taharka, T-A-H-A-R-K-A. -A. I have the privilege, the honor, and the responsibility of being the national chairman of the National Black United Front. I wish to uh, acknowledge again Sister Ethiopia Kelly Young and all of those from the Free Clarence Branley Coalition. Would you stand up if you're here, those people who participated, who marched, who protested, who petitioned for his freedom originally? I'm going to say a couple of things very briefly. The National Black United Front was involved in that coalition. and. Uh, I know that we have some people that are here that have been incarcerated, but very few of us would know what it's like to be in prison for 10 years when you're innocent. We can't even conceptualize it because we think it's something that may happen on television and not happen in real life. The least that the state of Texas could do the least is provide some monetary compensation. The very least. In Dallas County, the district attorney has started an innocence division. Where is the innocence division throughout the other uh, uh, counties in the state of Texas? Where is the innocence division from Pat Lycos and uh, Harris County? Where is the Montgomery County innocence division? And where are the people who conspired, as Reverend Brandley said, when is their day in court going to be? So don't tell us about no damn justice in America, because we ain't never seen it before. We ain't never seen it before. When Gloria called me about this, I was mad and angry, and don't get me wrong, I like to see the people get out of prison, but we shouldn't be happy, you say, an innocence project? The whole system, from the bottom to the top, from the cradle to the grave, from the alpha to the omega, is rotten to the core. And we know it. So we're not jumping for joy every time somebody steps out uh, 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 because somebody found some DNA evidence. What about those who don't have DNA evidence? You damn right we mad and angry because we know what's going on. In this state, 109 prisons. We want Governor Perry, the Attorney General, the state representatives to declare we going by the year 2015, we're going to close down half of the prisons in Texas and open up schools. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. So just like we was before, we with you, brother. We with you. We got your back. We real soldiers. And we know this system is rotten to the core. And there's some people in here who've experienced it, but none of us probably can what can we say? Governor Perry need to come out and give him the key to the state right. and say we're sorry. That's, right. That's what decent people would do. That's what humane people would do. So we got your back. Thank you, brother. That's right.